Hi, David Lewis Moroni here, Bishop's Gate Golf Academy. Uh, what I want to talk about here today is just a, a drill that we get the students to use on a regular basis. When I mean regular, I want them to do it at least 10 minutes a day for about five or six days of the week. Now, I don't want the student to get in there and do it for two hours, okay, and that's not the objective. The objective is just to get in there, confirm that they're starting the ball on the, the intended target line that they want to start the ball on, do a little bit of practice with it, and then off they go and maybe do some more distance control work. And then the next day, once again, they come in 10 minutes just to make sure they're starting the ball on the right line. So what we've set up is obviously the putting mirror is set up on the line. I've got a gate here as well. So the gate is to give me feedback if I have actually started the ball on the line that I want to. And obviously the line is here down the middle of the mirror, okay? I've also got the second mirror just to help out with some feedback. So what I want to do with this putting mirror is just check the basic things. Am I getting my eyes in a good position? And again, I can get the reflection from the mirror to give me that indication. Am I getting my toes, my knees, my hips, my forearms, my shoulders, and my eyes all parallel with my target line? And then if I have those good basics, things that we other, other things that we talk about is just getting the arms hanging nicely underneath the shoulders and just getting a nice balance on the feet. And then from there, I've got a lot better chance of making a good stroke. So if I make the stroke, Okay, I do a good job. I should see the ball roll nicely between the gate and into the hole. Now, also we use the same putt lab. Now, if we see a student that has maybe got a path which is maybe going five degrees to the left, then we can actually put some tees in the putting mirror as well, just to help encourage the correct movements of the putting stroke. So if we put those tees like this, if a student was set up in a good position, and again, they move the putter outside, they would get the feedback because the putter's hitting the tee. Or if they were to cut across and hit the inside tee as well. So it's just a good drill to help get that feedback, help the student improve their stroke. But as we said, most importantly, start the ball on the intended target line.